Okay, hello everybody. Uh, today we have first live stream uh, via the video capture card. As you can see, there is slight difference because we are doing it through the normal camera, so that's why it will be a bit more uh, detailed, I would say. Um, there will be more possibilities to focus the video, more possibilities to um, have the sharp image, etc. etc. So just let me tune the stream because I need to see what you will be writing there and we will start because for me it is quite interesting to see how it performs. I will be happy to hear your opinion about such stuff because I borrowed this card from uh, my good friend and as you can see today uh, we will be checking the decal set from quite uh, unusual manufacturer, I would say. It's ICM, it is 130 second scale. There are decals for eight variants and they are designed for use with E16 Type 10. Uh, they will copy the Spanish Republic Air Forces. And now we have a chance to open it and take a closer look inside. So first of all, packaging here is quite simple. As you can see, that's a decal uh, sheet together with application manual packed into the same plastic bag and also this cardboard backing. And that's pretty much all on the rear side. There is no even um, one, not one marking option displayed. So you will have to guess what is included inside. Now let's open it and take a look inside. So I will use the debonder because otherwise it will be a bit tricky to open these paper clips. So just give me a second. Okay. Now we open it. Remove those staples. Okay. So as I said, decals are packed into the same plastic bag together with this application manual. I'm happy to see that application manual is packed or printed in color. That's a really good feature in my opinion. So let's open it. And okay. So first of all, I would like to show all decals and then we will go with um, application manual. So here you can see the decals sheet. As you can see, we have here all necessary symbols for eight marking options as far as I remember. And we even have the decal for the cockpit, even though I am not sure why it is included because original release from ICM features such decal as far as I remember. And now let's zoom in and take a closer look at this printing quality. So as you can see, because camera is connected now directly to the PC, we have slightly better uh, video quality, especially in zoom mode, as you can see, all symbols are perfectly visible. So that's why I was saying it um, during the April, during the May, and I will repeat it now in June, we need your uh, help in order to purchase such device, in order to connect the camera to the PC and have the live stream in a perfect quality. As you can see, it's a notable difference with what we had on the mobile phone. And in my opinion, that's really cool. And I will be happy if you support us in this initiative. So as you can see, printing quality is quite nice. And next we have the application manual. This one is printed uh, in color. That's really cool because even Tamiya does not print the marking guides in color in their kits, but here we get it out of the box. So here you can see first four marking options and paint numbers and paint chart are given in Revel and Tamiya uh, paint designations. Next we have also um, which aircrafts we have here. So first one is from April 1938. Of course, that's the Spanish Republican Air Forces. Next one comes January 1939. Here we have the summer 1938 and December 1938. As you can see, they're more or less similar. There are small differences between them. Next, we have a bit more colorful ones. Again, these are Spanish Republican Air Forces. This one comes from January 1939. This one is November 1938. Here we have autumn 1938 and January 1939. So all those aircraft can be replicated with those decals. And as far as I can understand, um, some symbols might be even replicated with masks because, I mean, we have them as a decals, but there is no point to have this huge red section um, copied with help of decal. I would rather use some masking and airbrush in order to get a really realistic or convincing appearance. 
And in my opinion, all this stuff which is packed into this set is quite useful, especially if you don't like out of the box um, buildings or builds or models. This might be an interesting alternative for um, quite a nice build and big scale. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this set here in the comment section below. You can also write there what do you think about uh, this new technology which we are trying this weekend. And of course, I will see you in the next video review as usual. Don't forget to press the like button because it also helps us greatly. And I will see you in the next video as I said before. Bye.